I know that you're feeling me And I be feeling you oh. Baby make you ginger eh. And I go ginger ah. I know that you're feeling me And I be feeling you oh. Hey Divas, so in today's video I'm here to share with you guys this fabulous unit that I'm rocking right now So if you guys are interested then go ahead and stay tuned Okay Divas, so I wanted to do the unboxing portion of this video You will probably see me different times in the video Because um, I probably will be doing things to the unit um, Just depending on like how the unit is and everything Because I don't know what it's like So yeah, but you definitely will be seeing me in different settings Like clothes and makeup and everything Because this is going to be like a, you know, different day process So anywho, we have a unit from wig encounters and it did come via FedEx and I didn't show you guys because my address is on both sides for some reason but anywho um so this unit is from wig encounters and this is what the box looks like I think it's nice and simple um I love their little logo with the crown and wig encounters I think that's super cute so the box is a little bent up because uh FedEx was probably really rough with it they're rough with all of my packages so um yeah so now i'm just gonna go ahead and open the box up so in the box the first thing that i'm seeing is this card and this has all the okay it has my information at the top it says glam shade my address and then it also has all of the information about um this unit so this is the hair type is indian remy hair um the hair color is number one um, it says it does not suggest bleaching or re-dyeing. So this hair is dyed already, um, the one jet black. The hair length is 22 inches. The hair density, the hairline um, is 100% density and the back is 150% density. So hmm, that's interesting. I've never had like mixed densities. Um, the cap construction is a glueless lace front cap. It has baby hair around the perimeter. It says natural pre licked hairline. The lace color is medium brown. And the cap size is average. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the unit. So before we move on to the unit, I did want to mention that they did send over this wig cap. I don't ever use these um, for like underneath my wigs. I'll use it like underneath a wig cap, especially like now because my hair is not braided. It helps to lay the hair down flatter, but. I do appreciate that because I will have some type of use out of it. So your unit will come in this plastic bag here. Um, it's just a plain plastic bag. Your unit is also secured by this hairnet as well. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, it's like a hairnet. So let's go ahead and take it out. And it also comes with this stuffing in the unit as well. So this is what it pretty much looks like. So... It looks pretty. Um, my first impressions is that it does look really thin. Um, if you guys don't know, I love voluminous hair. So this one does, it does look pretty thin. But um, we'll see like once styling and everything is done. And it says that it's at the back 150% and the front is 130%. Um, so yeah. So let's jump into the cap construction. So yeah, this is about an average head cap. It does come with the comb so we have the two combs on the side as well as the comb in the middle there let me show you guys so there's a comb there comb here comb here as well and also a comb in the back the cap construction looks constructed like very very nice so it does not look cheap or like it will be uncomfortable which is a very good thing so now i'm just going to turn the unit inside out so you guys can pretty much see um, how the unit looks so this is how it looks so this is a lace front wig um, it's not a 13 by 4 or anything so it's just a regular lace front wig so let's go ahead and look at this hairline because they did say that it is pre-plucked and it does look pretty good um, once I'm styling it I'll be able to show you guys more but it looks okay i'll go ahead and put it on so you guys could see a little bit better okay so this is what the unit looks like just straight on to my head so here is the hairline so it does look pretty good um it's not bad doesn't it's not doesn't look super bad um it definitely is a little bit dense so I'm gonna go in and bleach the knots I did already contact the company and ask them if I can go in and bleach the knots and hopefully that will make it a little bit better because it does look pretty darn dense so um 
yeah and then you guys can see a little bit of the parting area so um up to this point it looks like the um hair is kind of like plucked but back here it looks like it will need a little bit work so that is what it looks like Okay, Divas, so now I'm going to go in and bleach the unit. So I'm going to use this BW2 by Clairol Bleach, and I'm going to use this 40 volume developer. And this is the consistency I got, so it's really, really thick. So I wanted to go ahead and apply this and in plans to bleach the knots, but girl, it didn't even bleach. <laughs> Yeah, so that was a fail. So anyways, the good news is that the hair did go ahead and keep its same pattern. So that was really good. So now we're going to go on with the faux bleaching method. And I'm going to use this liquid foundation by Maybelline in 360 as well as the powder and a holding spray as well to seal in everything. So I'm just going to go in and apply that. And that worked out pretty good. Um, I also did have to go in and pluck the parting area. Um, I didn't mention that to you guys. And then I did get a little bit of foundation on there. So I do have to go in with this eyeliner and kind of fix that. But it's a super quick fix. Nothing to be too worried about. But yeah, I did want to let you guys know that I did also pluck the parting area. And yeah, that's what I did. Okay, Diva. So this is what I came up with so far um, with this hair. So, so far what I'm feeling like is um, the hair is really, really soft and I do like the fact that it is already black because I absolutely love like one, the color of one hair or the color number one B. So I'm happy that it's like really black. Um, I really do like the pre-plucked hairline. It does look really good. I did go in and lay baby hairs. I'm going to say it again for the millionth time. If you don't like baby hairs, you don't have to do them um, because sometimes when I lay baby hairs, people who want to complain you do not have to do them they are totally optional um i did go in and pluck the parting area because as you guys seen in the previous clips when i went in to bleach the knots they did not take at all they did claim that the knots were bleached before but i didn't really see that the only thing that i saw that was true about the claims was that it was a pre-plucked hairline and it does look good because i did find that i could have went in with like a flip over method or something like that but if I do want to part the unit I will have to go in and pluck it um and instead of bleaching it I did go in and add the powder and everything as you guys seen the foundation the powder and holding spray um and this is what I came up with and I think it's pretty good I mean it's not it's not bad um I was disappointed that I wasted bleach like I was just really mad about that because bleach is not cheap like I don't know about anybody else but like this much bleach is like 13 bucks you know <laughs> so I'm just like I just would have rather not waste the bleach um so that was the only con that I had so far but other than that the hair did snap back and revert like to this wave pattern and I'm really liking it um the hair is still kind of too thin in my personal opinion I don't see where the density is heavier in the back um that's just my opinion but I mean it's still cute it's not like horrible you know because this is all the hair in front but um I would have rather my hair be a little bit more thick but um yeah, so far I am liking the hair is super soft. I am experiencing some shedding. Um, it's not excessive, but I did experience some. So um, I don't know if that had anything to do with me trying to bleach the hair or what, but I am experiencing some and that is pretty much it so i just went in made the unit work for me and i think the hair is soft so far of course i'm going to come back to you guys with a follow-up video i am i did want to mention that i am going to do like a follow-up video on all the human hair units it's just that they're so long and everything i was going to wait until fall because it's just long and then not all of them are this texture where I can go ahead and you know just wet it and everything. Oh and speaking of that I do want to let you guys know which products I use on this hair. Um, I did let it air dry so um, I did wash it after I tried to bleach it and then I let it air dry and then today I did go in and style it and then I let it air dry before I applied it to my head. So the products that I use for this hair is super minimalistic. I didn't want to put a lot on the hair because I don't know about the hair so I didn't want to put a lot on it to weigh it down. But I did want to put something on there that can be moisturizing and conditioning for it. So the first thing I put on there was H2O. I do use drinking water. I do not use water from 
from the sink unless I'm like washing my hair but if I'm going to style it I do like to use this water um I have like a weird thing with that because I don't drink um sink water so I just feel like it shouldn't be in my hair unless I'm putting shampoo or anything I know that's probably weird and the other thing that I use is this uh leave-in conditioning conditioner excuse me this is by Cantu and this is the frizz fighting leave-in conditioning foam i really really do like this because it's super lightweight and it does help out with the frizz now i don't know if there would have been any frizz with this hair but i feel like this product has never steered me wrong because i've used it on other curly hair so um i really do like this and it is kind of expensive it's like ten dollars or twelve dollars for this bottle but it definitely works really really good so or you know what? i should probably buy this from walmart it's probably cheaper but at the beauty supply it's kind of expensive but it definitely works i really do like it this is my second bottle so yeah i really did want to use just minimalistic um products on this hair and I love the way it did this hair I don't feel like I need to use anything else so so far that's really good that I don't have to use like excessive product but yeah that's it for now um I am gonna be wearing this unit so that I could tell you guys like more in-depth details about it and let you guys know you know how I feel about it I will come back with an in-depth review um uh, maybe about two or three weeks um maybe so yeah but so far i'm liking it i just didn't like the fact that i had to you know waste my bleach because like yeah that was like really weird but um i did make it work everything still looks good so but yeah was that is pretty much it if you guys are interested in this hair i will have a link down in the description box below so be sure to go ahead and check that out and um yeah was that is pretty much it i hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and found it very helpful and easy to follow if you fabulous d was this then go ahead and give me a thumbs up be sure to go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below let me know if you have any questions let me know your comments or concerns i will be answering comments now i was really busy and i know i haven't been answering comments but i will be answering them now so yeah thank you guys so much for all the love and support but um yeah and be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already and also hit the notification bell i do upload quite often girls so you definitely do not want to miss any of my videos but yeah divas thank you guys so so much for watching i greatly appreciate it and i'll see you gorgeous fabulous divas in my next video bye